my soccer universe. And so the 30 year wait comes to an end and I am wearing my Liverpool uh, weight jersey for this one. Um, yeah, Liverpool are champions and that's basically the main story um, of the round and also of this vi vi video. So we'll concentrate on the two games that led to Liverpool finally winning the title. Um, let's start it out. I mean, Liverpool had a home game against Crystal Palace and everything that was not working well uh, against Everton was suddenly clicking. There were chances, free kick for um, um, Liverpool at the edge of box and Alexander-Arnold really nicely directly in, in the 23rd. There should have been a penalty then given uh, a little bit uh, later. There was a clear handball in the box. I don't know why this wasn't given, but VAR in England is a crapshoot as always. But once after a nice Fabinho assist, Salah makes it 2-0. I think everything was done done and and Liverpool looked well on the way to the championship. Um, goal was scored in the 44th minute. The goal of the evening definitely went to Fabinho. Uh, who, laser just takes it on and you can see that he has a clear view of the goal it was similar to the one that i think he scored against city um not to, uh this season uh also at enfield a clear view he takes the shot and the palace defender just wants to block it but it goes uh below his feet a really really nice shot and then in the end after a rare salah assist really nice diagonal through ball uh, into the run of Mane and it's 4-0 total domination Liverpool looked very well on the way from that point to uh, be primed for a championship and if it wasn't happening on the 24th if they would have won against um, Everton it could already happen on the 25th of June and then or the latest a week later when they actually just needed to get a result against Manchester City however Chelsea did their job yeah, uh, I watched that game yesterday uh, and I have to say it was an anniversary even and I could watch the game. Yeah, we had it. We had it nice though. We had it really nice though. Um, Chelsea was very much on the defensive for the first, uh, first almost half hour, I have to say. Uh, it was really, uh, you know, a lot of possession by Manchester City, but uh, it was not in the sense that uh, it was stifling. It was more possession for possession's sake. But there was a good uh, header by Fernandinho, which was kind of the first chance of the game. However, the breakthrough came for Chelsea, who have then been occasionally showing, yeah, if we launch a counter-attack, we can be actually, actually quite stingy. And yeah, if the Manchester City defense would be a little bit better coordinated in uh, particular Mondi and uh, Gundogan who after uh, I think it was a free kick uh, in deep in the Chelsea half the ball comes to them and they're kind of unsure are you taking are you all taking it suddenly the ball is clear I think Gundogan plays it to Mondi who, who didn't really take it and Pulisic starts through and gets the ball um, sprints then past Mondi and again another error is the Gundogan uh, was just uh, trotting next by if he would go for a full sprint there wouldn't have been a chance but Pulisic gets the goal makes it 1-0 um, and at that point I have to say it was not even undeserved because Chelsea was the more dangerous team in the second half uh, Manchester City with their wonderful neon peach purses, uh, jerseys uh, I thought there was a socks clash I think they should have worn pink socks my pers personal opinion but we'll talk about a uh, horrible jersey match a little bit later uh really tries to stifle and get the equalizer and they do it uh, through a wonderful free kick by the Bruyne. and just a few minutes later uh, i thought it's 2-1 for city when uh, a shot for rashford hits just uh, the post and it was then the half of the crazy chances because again pulisic gets the the ball around the keeper and wants to push it in and Carl Walker with a super sliding uh, tackle scratches is off the line and denies the goal. And then uh, just a few uh, later, and this was, uh, yeah, I, 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 I want to note, in the first half, City had all this possession and there was the water break and then suddenly Chelsea was more uh, dangerous. And the same thing happened here. For about 20 minutes, uh, City was completely stifling Chelsea and then there's the water break and seemingly 
lamp or just in a few adjustments and suddenly Chelsea is a little bit better. Anyway, in the 76, I think it was a crazy scene where again, uh, I think it was Tammy Abraham who came on a little bit before, uh, had a huge chance, it was clear, clear of the line, then another shot, clear, clear of the line, then another, and Chelsea plays already clearly six, and then you see, yeah, Fernandinho plays it with the hand, and you could see during VAR the way Fernandinho is standing there, uh, it's pretty clear, yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it, I'm just not going to say it, and yeah, he just, red card, high penalty for Villian, and it's 2-1 for Chelsea, and Chelsea can hang on, and thus handing Liverpool the title. Uh, from what I hear, there were of course some celebrations, I mean, yes, lockdown and what, whatever, I have to say, uh, yes, they shouldn't do it, but let them celebrate, they have been waiting for third, third years, I actually then went I said, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get that Liverpool jersey. Uh, and I went to the Liverpool website and actually had it all set up and then the server broke down. So I found it actually a little bit cheaper and free shipping on an Austrian web website, but I don't have the nice uh, patches that I would have gotten otherwise. But I'm sure that classic football uh, shirts will sooner or later have these patches available for me, I'm sure, if I wanted to have them. So that was the main event in the Premier League. Uh, if we look at the other results, I think the United performance against Sheffield United um, stands out because it was the first hat-trick uh, since Alex Ferguson, I think. Uh, three goals by Martial. I have to say the first one, really, all of them actually really nicely played. Uh, they should have even led 3-0 at the half. Um, crazy Georgia with Norwich City against Everton. Uh, why cannot Everton play in their regular jerseys at Norwich? Uh, why do they have to play in pink and black or dark blue? That I didn't understand. Uh, it was, I actually couldn't really look, look at it. Um, another one that uh, we can talk about, I mean, Spurs gets a win over West Ham with Kane finally, finally scoring again. Uh, although. I think Son had already a goal scored that was then uh, correctly ruled out for offside. Um, it was an on goal by Su Suchek and a huge chance for West Ham to equalize by the end. Kane, after uh, Son assist, gets the goal. Yeah, and also Arsenal gets a rare win, playing in all yellow, um, with Aubameyang having one of those misses where he should score, but in the end uh, they get the goal. The first goal was a horrible... Um, Goalkeeping mistake where, uh, um, yeah, Nketia just takes the ball off his foot and then runs in, 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 in the net, and then late Wilco gets his first Premier League goal. Um, there were chances for Ar Arsenal who were uh, lay laboring to hang on, but in the end, they get the win. So, with all that, the Premier League table now we have the Liverpool are champions, everything bold, cannot be. Uh, overtaken anymore. It's an enormous season for them. The question is, will they get the points record? Uh, we already know Manchester City, as of now, will not make it to the Champions League, so they are like a mid-table team here, all blanked out for the chances. Uh, Chelsea it looks huge now for the Champions League. Leicester City, who have again only played a draw, seemingly cannot win. They need to go to winning ways again, and there's the FA Cup tie between those two uh, coming up. Uh, but yeah, Leicester City still looking kind of good, but you know, it's getting a little bit close. United also, I think United will probably get the fifth spot. Maybe they can even move into fourth, depending on how Leicester City will perform. And I'm not talking much about Wolves, but Adama Traore and that uh, Raul Jimenez, that's an exciting team to watch most of the time. So let's see where this will go. And I don't give much chances to Spurs and Sheffield United. Uh, any more getting in there, but probably Europa League is a possibility for them. On the bottom of the table, it looks the bottom three or the bottom three. West Ham United, though, yeah, it's just teetering on the edge there. Has to be said, I'm, yeah. <laughs> if you're a Hammers fan, uh, these are very, very uncertain times. Watford also kind of hang, hanging there. There is still a battle there. You see four teams within one point. But 5.30 is pretty decisive. It's Bournemouth, Aston Villa that will join Norwich going down. 
Anyway, let me know what you thought about the games or the last week. The next uh, England roundup will happen in a week from now, simply because I'm going to wait for all the Premier League and FA Cup action. To, I will do only one week of Premier League now anymore because it just gets too busy otherwise. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists with interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.